Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today I have a guest. Hello. Hello, Nois. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Eleanor, for coming today. And if you want, uh, first of all, you can introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Eloise, I'm uh, an actor and a model, um, and I've worked with Matt a few times on shoots. Thank you. And I have a couple of questions today. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, have you ever used a film camera? I don't know. It's, and also, if you saw, mm -hmm. uh, which one was it? Yeah, so I have, um, I've used a film camera before, like I've used them on shoots and stuff. Um, so I've used a few different ones on shoots, um, but I have my own as well, um, which is, I think it's called um, a Yashica like Zoom Tech or something like that. It's basically an old one that was ah, okay. someone bought for me off eBay. Um, is that, yeah, the... It's like a point and shoot. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, have, um, have, so have, it's, yeah. it's quite... Um, it's quite sort of basic, but I really like it. it's got quite like a, a a wide kind of like view hole and stuff, and you can you can zoom in, you can put it on timer, you know, there's, it's all the things that you need. Um, so but did, yeah, did I've you like that. it? Yeah, I do. Um, I I quite like it because um, the the images do come out quite well. I think like especially a lot of like old film cameras yeah. that you find on eBay or like at antiques places or charity shops, like you you sometimes get that they come out all a bit like fuzzy and out of focus or they're not very good at like picking up light but I find that like this one's quite good ah, like either okay. in natural good light yeah, yeah yeah and like I've had like three sets of film um developed from that one and I've been really happy with all of them like I think there's sometimes times where I've looked back at the pictures and I'd be like oh that's slightly out of focus like you have to spend the time setting up the frame yes. um Obviously, I'm not a photographer. Yeah, it's a so. little bit hard <laughs> to take yourself with the yeah. camera. I know, it's really hard. But then I've had a few, like, I've, t I've tried taking selfies on it. I've had a few back that are actually kind of <laughs> decent. So it's not it's not too bad. Cool. And also, what do you think about photos with film camera? I really like them. I like, there's, there's obviously, like, a bit of a retro feel to them, and that's, like, quite trendy at the moment. Um... But I, yeah, I quite like sort of the lighting, how, you know, how it's quite soft most yeah. of the time, like, and a little bit, like, grainy, but also just how it sort of, like, picks out the colours. Yeah, it's, it feels different when we see see the results. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. not it's not the same with the digital one. Yeah, yeah. You can definitely, like, tell the difference. Yeah. And I know that some people, like, edit, digital photos to make them look more like yeah. film photos but I think even then you can kind of tell the difference yeah T today we're gonna use the Mamiya C yeah I love that camera 330 <laughs> yeah yeah I, I know uh, we will take some uh, headshot with it mm -hmm. uh, and also I will use the Kodak mm -hmm. tricks 400 but I think I push the film to 1600 mm -hmm. for ISO. I hope we will take good photos and of course uh, we will see the results when I uh, film, when, when I sent the film for developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>
so much for watching this video. I will share the results after I have the film developed. And don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.